Hi, this is Matthew Belisario. Uh, this video here will be on how to learn the contact dialer. The Epitome contact dialer is a standard feature now that comes with the Epitome PBX. And here, I will open it here. It will be installed on your computer uh, by your installer. The settings are set up here with your extension number, your password, the server address, the port number, and you will check these boxes. The most important thing here, all this should be set up by your installer, but the most important thing here is the, the hotkey. And this is what you will want to configure when you want to dial out of the dialer on your phone that's on your desk. So what this will allow you to do is when you, you will press Control C and then a hotkey to dial the number. And I'll show you how that works here in a moment. Uh, what I have here selected is Alt D. So when I want to make a phone call off of my uh, screen with clip to dial, I do control C and alt D in the number of dials. And I'll show you how that works here in a moment. But just know that here is where you configure your hotkey to dial out. What the contact dialer does is manages all of your personal contacts in one easy to use location. So all the system speed dials will be imported in. Whatever is in the phone system will be imported in automatically. Then you will have the phone numbers. If you want to import with Outlook, you will go um, to Manage Contacts, Import, and then Import from Desktop Outlook, and it will populate. I don't really use Outlook for all my numbers. I use a CRM program, so I don't have anything in there. But when you click this, it will automatically import everything from Outlook in here that has a phone number associated with it. Now, another nice thing is if you have a company-wide speed dial sheet, and I made up one here uh, really quick that I can show you. It's just all of my movie star friends here um, that I made, and I saved it as a CSV file. So you open up your Excel spreadsheet, put in your name and your phone number, and when you go to save, you save as a CSV file. Once you um, have your spreadsheet made, name it something that you can remember and put it someplace that you can find it and close it. Um, I will save this and keep my format but what I will do now is I will go back here to the dialer and I will do manage contacts import import from a CSV file I will go in and find my um, spreadsheet movie star numbers open it up and what you do is you map over um, the name and the number now there's different things uh, fields in here that you can um, map over to I'm, I'm going to do uh, in Jimmy Stewart here I'm going to put him over as a full name so what I do is I highlight this and highlight this and I drag over and that puts this onto the full name format and then I'll click the phone number and where I want the phone number to go and I'm going to put it in primary phone so you can see both of these are highlighted then I'm going to drag it over here that puts my phone number and my name then I'm going to hit import and you will see all of my movie star friends are now part of my list uh, and all the phone numbers. Then if I want to dial any of them, you just click on it, uh, open it up, and hit the little dial button here, and I can call uh, my friend there. So if I have a company-wide speed dial sheet or something like that, it's very easy to make and share amongst everybody. Uh, you could make up a company-wide speed dial sheet, email it to everybody, and everybody can easily import it into the dialer. Everybody will have all those numbers. So those are the two things you can do for importing. Now you can also add them individually by just hitting Add Contact. Uh, and I can add in um, another person and their number. And uh, let's give him an area code. Maybe he's so hiding someplace. And we'll put him in there and hit save. And then now he is added to my list as an individual. So you can do personal contacts, import contacts, uh, and Outlook contacts um, that you can import in um, as far as that goes. And then your system speed dials will already be in there. Now, in addition to this, um, list here you can do a uh, screen dialing uh, so what you can do is have this minimized and let's say I'm on the epitome website and I want to call epitome from my desk phone I can highlight this number um, and then hit my hotkeys control C alt D 
and immediately my phone goes off hook as you can hear it and it will dial the number now this can be done on a spreadsheet uh, on an out you know on a um, any of your uh, Microsoft products um, anything that you can actually highlight on your screen uh, you can dial so that's the uh, basic use of the epitome dialer I hope this helps you uh, set up and make yourself uh, an effective list here uh, that you can use to easily dial all of your customers also up top here you can search by name um, so if you have a big long list and you're looking for people it will um, pull them up by name and you can find them very easily and dial out on your epitome dialer